Whenever you are selling anything in a theme bundle, we need to have a photo for our Etsy listing and it's going to go right here in this. This is going to be your main photo and it's going to be the, the first photo that your customers are going to see. And it doesn't matter what you are selling in bundles. It could be watercolor splotches. It could be watercolor brush strokes. It could be um, digital papers, design elements. It could be, um, I mean, absolutely anything, you know, that we are selling in bundles. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, if we go over here to ipicky.com, the standard safe size for a um, Etsy thumbnail is 1000 by 800 and we're going to click create. Okay, so at this point is what we're going to do is we're going to make our, we're going to make this attractive and now technically you should already have these done and completed and all in separate files and I don't. So I'm just going to start dragging a few things over here um, and I'm going to just kind of and then I'll go back here in a few minutes and if you remember my little hexagon trick or you can make all sorts of polygon type um, so now I have it duplicated and then usually I just like to tilt it just to give it a little bit more of a flare. And let me move this just a little bit more. Okay, these are all design elements. So your theme can be anything. It can be brush strokes in all different colors. It could be watercolor splotches in a rainbow of colors, or you can do design elements and you can sell them in different colors. And people will actually go, so like if you offer them all in gold and then you offer them all in rose gold, you can actually sell those separately. So um, let me keep adding a few more. And you can even have them like hanging off the edge. Here's our confetti. And then I'm going to actually export this to the designer. Um, so that I can use the paint and we're going to make a brush stroke. Once again, you should already have these all done. You should have your digital paper covered over the top of them and they should all be cropped down PNG files. I'm just basically showing how you're going to do Okay, and let me make the size of this brush a little bit bigger. Okay, so now that I've got all that, let me click apply. Okay, and I'm actually going to click on this layering tool and now we're going to start adding some pa um, paper. So we're going to kind of go with a um, gold foil and a gold glitter. Okay, so let's go back down to my papers. Okay, here is a gold glitter and then we click lighten. And once again, you should, like I said, you should have these already completed. And while I have my gold glitter, one of these um, brush strokes is going to be gold glitter and one is going to be gold foil. Okay. 
Okay, and then this is my gold foil paper. And I'm also going to use that gold foil paper for this heart. And then I think I'm going to do the confetti in the glitter. And then I think I'm going to do um, the, the rest I'm going to do in just the gold foil. Okay, so now we have our cover photo almost completed. However, we need to let them know what this is. Now, you can put just a few items on here if you want, but let's say that we have 29 design elements in gold foil and gold glitter. And so at that point, you would want to, we're gonna put right here in the middle, I'm actually gonna add a geometric shape. I'm going to add black. And you can do this however you want. Um, and I'm going to change this color to white. There's a method to my madness here. Okay, and then I'm going to fade this like almost all the way down or actually let me try the black and do that almost all the way down. Yeah, I think I'm kind of liking this. Okay, so now we want to add some text, and this is where we let them know what we are actually selling. And you know what? I don't like that. Let me try just doing the gold foil and see if I can fade it. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so this is where we are going to tell them, hey, this is what we're selling, and this is the first picture that they are going to see. And you can move this up a little bit if you want. It's up to you. Okay, so we're gonna add, go ahead and we're gonna add some text here. And we'll put, let's say that we have 29 design, elements okay and then we're going to add some more text um, and then you can put 300 dpi three hundred dpi and then we can also put um, we'll put gold foil and gold glitter. Okay, and then we can go back here and we can change our font and I will pause this for a second. I know um, I always pause it whenever I'm picking out a font so you don't have to sit through. Okay, so I've picked out my um, fonts and I have also picked out my um, color that I want to use and I really like this dark gold. I think it kind of stands out and it goes 
um, it really has a contrast contrast with the cover photo so I'm going to control C so that we don't lose that okay I'm going to move this over a little bit here to have that bolded okay so we'll put 300 dpi and then we're going to go ahead and change the color here and we're going to hit enter and it changes it to the same color and right here we are also going to click here and we are going to control V and hit enter so that we change the color and for some reason on this font it did not pick up the um, and sign so I had to use a different font and that's okay so we're gonna hit control V enter and then now we have our um, beautiful cover photo for our design elements okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click apply And then I'm going to save this to my computer. Okay, we're going to hop over here to um, Etsy. And just to show you how beautifully this is going to fit and how perfectly it's going to fit in here, I'm going to go over here to the desktop and we are going to upload this picture because this is the first picture that they are going to see whenever it is in here. Oh, you know what? I got the size backwards when I resized it. Okay, so it's telling me here. Well, that's funny because it looks like everything is fitting in here perfectly. Sometimes Etsy will do that. So, I mean, I made it the exact size that it was supposed to be. And let me try to resize that. Let me go ahead and trash this. And I am going to hop over here to... Um, Okay, so I paused this for just a second and I was looking at that and the only thing we really had to do was to make it a little bit wider. Um, so I don't know what I was looking at. So we need to open this photo on our desktop. I just want to make sure that I get this done correctly. Okay, so now we are going to go to the image and we are going to resize this image. And it's telling us our width is only 1,000. So it says it needs to be 1,500. Um, and then let's go ahead and change our resolution to 300. So that is excellent quality. And let's click OK. OK, and that still looks good. So they do like that. And let me see if I can do something else. Let's see, resize. Let's go ahead and make this... Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to save this image one more time. I'm telling you, if you get on the internet and you Google things, which I do when you Google like Etsy thumbnail size, I got on there and it said 1000 by 800. So obviously that is not correct. And let's see if this one works. Okay, and it's saying quality is at 100%. I just absolutely love this. I think it turned out so good. Okay, so let's hop back over here and let's try this again and see if this fits in here beautifully. Ah, perfect. And it does, it fits in there absolutely perfect. So when somebody goes to click on this image, 
they are go that's the first image they're going to see. Now then is what you're going to want to do is you're going to have subsequent images that you're going to be uploading of all of your images. Now if you have, Etsy will only allow you to add, um, let's see, your one, two, three, four, you can only add um, 10 photos. So let's say that you have 29 elements, you're gonna have to put them all on one page just so that they can see them. So like if we wanted to go ahead and add, you know, our other photo here that has all of our design elements on it. I mean, I know this is the cover photo, but you would add all of your design elements where it shows everything that you have on there. So that would be your subsequent images. Um, so, you know, let's say that I go into here and I'm gonna go down to some of the ones that I actually created. Um, So let's say that we were wanting to do the rectangle and the JPEG. You would add that image here. It's going to tell me it's not the right size um, because it's too small. So I have not resized that image yet. But this is where you want to make sure that you resize your images and also where you add your subsequent images. You can even do um, a bundle of 29 design elements and you can put them all on one photo and I've seen that done too. Now it doesn't fit the Etsy thumbnail perfectly because they'll have one picture and there's, you know, uh, blank places hanging off, but it doesn't matter. You can still see the main thing is making sure that your cover photo fits perfectly. So let's go back over here and take a look at this. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below of you know what this is. So once again, it does not matter if you are selling um, you know brush strokes or digital papers or whatever it is that you're selling, this is going to be your main image. And then to make even more money, you could offer this in gold and gold glitter, and then you can turn right around and make the same thing and also offer it in blue and blue glitter, you know, so you could keep doing that over and over again. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you do have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification so you do future videos that I will be uploading. Thanks so much for watching and I hope everyone has a great day.